guys it's the real deal and today we're gonna do some live arena so let's go for it i will edit the video down because i know how long these fights can be that we'll do five or ten just depends uh how long it takes oh and we've actually come up against a cross uh clan mate uh l, l. let's hope we don't get the lose to this guy i'll be so gutted so we're taking our man's first take that away and he's got sheep that is not going to be good for us. But hopefully, I'm going to take a cleanser. I do not trust this guy at all. Oh, and he's gone for double cleanse as well. So I feel... Oh, damn. I just realized that I'm just going to have to go full nuke. Oh, I'm going to bring in Gizmark as well, just in case. Yeah, I mean, the problem with Gizmark is a very good chance we might get sheeped. That could be the difference between a win and a loss. He's going to have to take out our man, so there's no way we can just let him run Savage. Okay, so I think I'm going to take out Pytheon. Um, definitely the strongest choice out of all of those. Pytheon, you know, you can cleanse, do an AWE revive. Wukong, I'm not too fussed about. Should be quite easy to drop. And he's gone from three sheeps to two, so definitely puts the odds in our favor. All right, two pieces of stone skin, no problem. We didn't get sheeped. Let's save that cleanse. Gonna put on that crit rate and crit damage, and then we're gonna use an A2 to actually burn off their stone skin. Leores, is he gonna... Oh, that freaking reaction. Oh my God. So freaking annoying. So... Okay, he went for the cleanse. Wukong's back up. I think we should... Hopefully we can cut in. We'll have to see. Yeah, Gizmark too strong. Okay, cleanse. Okay, we're going to boost the term here. We should be able to cut in. Oh, and of course we got sheeped. Oh, oh maybe I should... Oh, it doesn't matter. Liores with the... Oh my, what a tank. How did... I don't know how strong this guy's Arima is, but he managed to take a full hit from my Liores. My Liores is like built insanely good, but it doesn't matter. Gizmark. This guy's unkillable. What the frick? Jesus Christ. GGL, my brother. Oh, Rusty Cord. So, uh, Legendary 420... I know these guys, these are guys are, they're pretty cool to be fair. Uh, shout out to Tea Leaf. Coming up against one of his boys. No idea how strong this guy is. But uh, I don't know Rusty Cord, so hopefully should be a walk in the park. Okay, so Wukong and Ultimate Death Knight, nasty combo. I'm going to bring in Gizmark. Gizmark is the king of moving stone skin. I know he's a mythical champion. I am free to play. I was just very, very lucky to get him. And we'll bring in um, Hedgy, um, just because obviously he got speed team. And we're going to bring in Hepfrak as well. My Hepfrak just slaps full stone skin. Um, I was very lucky to pull six stars before I actually pulled him. I pulled the six star awakening before I pulled Hepfrak. Yeah, but this should be pretty easy. It's got three nukers. We'll take out um, Arbiter. Uko, obviously, he's going to come in clutch. He's going to help us with like stripping or just decreasing that attack and an AoE revive. But to be honest, I feel like just with um, Gizmark, we'll be able to just peel off all that stone skin. Oh, their team's... Oh, that is a very fast Foley, but just hits... Proper week. Oh, the the damage from a uh, I can't what's his name Gorgrid. Pretty insane. Okay, and that's it. Stone skin's gone. I didn't even have to do that A two activation. And Gizmark will probably just finish this solo. Do you know? 
I wasn't too sure how I felt about when I pulled him, but he hits like a truck. Watch this A2. Boom. Sit down. OC Jr. Oh, no. The OC clan, these guys are big spenders in general, usually like massive whales. So might have a bit of a struggle here on the old free to play. Oh, he's got Arv though. So he's probably not uh, a big spender. And he's taken Wukong. Ah, oh, this is going to be a problem. So I definitely, I'm going to bring in Heji. Um, and I'm going to need a speed lead as well, because otherwise I'll probably be too slow. I think I'll take Elva. Um, she is just such a good cleanser. Oh, and yeah, Harima and Lady Miyagi. Pretty deadly combo. I think I'm going to be in, oh no, Hepfrak. Yeah, Hepfrak and Heji. Hepfrak, obviously not great into Harima, but my Leora should be strong enough. So I'll take out Wukong. I don't think, well, Lady Makagi can strip. Oh, oh, and Yumiko as well. Nasty. Yeah, I'm going to have to take out Yumiko. Um, don't have a lot of options, to be honest. But yeah, as long as Heji can land, you know, CC Heji is amazing. I don't know why people flame him. Like, my win rate with Heji CC is off the charts for Live Arena. So let's lock him out. And I mean, he doesn't have a cleanser either. I mean, maybe Gizmark would have been the better option. But um, don't always have to use that legendary. If Harima kills nice, that's exactly what I want to happen. We need to actually, we're going to have to cleanse because we want to take off that decrease attack. So we're just going to do the A3. And it's good enough. 100k on Lady Miyagi. Sit down, boy. Oh, so get up against someone. TGB Coffee. I mean, who doesn't love a cup of coffee? Uh, Mr. Latte. Yeah, hopefully. Hope, I don't want to beat him too badly because I do like my coffee. Um, I'm going to take Wukong and Heji. Again, just so I've got that speed lead. And then it means I can bring in a different support champion. Don't have to limit myself to what we're rolling with. Warlord. Interesting. So I don't have like... A, uh, this is one of the things with my account is that I, if I take away Arb, I'm stuck for a different um, like champion. I think I'm going to bring in... Oh, my Death Knight. Yeah. Oh, my Death Knight. Protect me against Rotos. And yeah, I'm going to probably have to take out Warlord. In fact, I don't think I've got a choice. Um, I've got a feeling, though, they're probably going to bring someone in like Foley, anyone that can block Revive just to deal with Wukong. Or Tournament. Oh, Ronda. That's a nice pick. As long as Heji can CC half the team, we should be good to go. Um, that's one of the problems is that I don't have a Reviver on the team right now. Maybe this would have been like a good pick for Duchess, maybe. Is what it is at the end of the day. All right. Lock them out, boys. Come on, Heji. Nice. Look at that. Three out of four lockdown. We didn't land a provoke on him. So uh, my Heji's in a provoke set. And it is so good. It is just so good. I know I keep going on about it, but it really is. And this should just be a very easy win for me. So Wukong is going to come in. Oh, no. Lyra is first. Oh, I'm surprised. I thought we were going to just wipe the floor with them. Come on. Come on, Reyes. Take your turn. Okay, let's see if we can get the provoke off. Nope, but we did land a slow. And then Nuki Kong for the win. See you later, buddy. I'll take that copy to go. Four out of four. Let's see if we can get five out of five. And yeah, we're going to bring in arms again. I kind of hate it. It's such a lame strategy. Uh, but I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for it. Narcissus. Oh. And Ancora. Definitely going to be bringing in uh, Gizmark. 
And they've both got, I, I forgot what it's called. It's not Touch of Death, but it's the one that stops, you know, is it Warden of the Fallen? Oh, so they're bringing in CC as well. I think I'm going to bring in Hedgy. I'm going to mix it up. I'm bringing in Hedgy. Hedgy? Hepfrak. Hepfrak. Yeah, I definitely, oh, I don't know. I would love to have some more like Nukas on my account. Maybe she should use Harima a little bit more. But she needs kind of different teams. Like, I think she's better on like tankier teams or sort of go second teams. And I just don't really have like the supports to, to back it up. So, yeah, we'll leave her for now. So, what's your. Oh, okay. So, mm, I'm going to take away Necred. Just because he provides that protection, could definitely. Oh, oh no, I'm an idiot. I was definitely like with a uh, Suzen, I can lock her out, and Cora's probably gonna be in stone skin. I should have probably taken away and Cora, um, because I forgot Gizmark is just gonna literally just burn through any stone skin. But there's no there's no stone skin, which is interesting. Oh, so Suzen's probably gonna push back our turning. Ah, oh, this is gonna be a loss, guys. I uh, fucked up. Oh man, can't don't let Narcissus do the one drop. Oh, that was very, very lucky. So we're gonna go for the the revive. Boost that turn meter. So yeah, let's increase our crit damage. Swap it over. Now this is the tricky part. I could let's keep myself alive. So if Narcissus tries to kill me, he's gonna die. Um I've I've got a feeling that, you know, um, Gizmark could die right now. So it's definitely about putting that unkillable buff on him, making sure that he does stay alive. And we've also got the taunt. And then we're going to smack. Ooh, look at that. Nasty. So, wow. We just did no damage. Oh, I should have, should have brought in Leo. Damn. If we don't get that, that five out of five, I'm going to cry. It's been a long time since I've done a 5v5. Okay, push back our tummy a little bit. She can put skills and Oh, I thought she can put our skills and cooldown. Not today. Come on, Narcissist. Take your turn. Okay. Big A2. Oh. And we still got another turn. Nice. Another big smack. And then, come on, Hepfrak, you've got to finish this for me, bro. Yeah! You know your place, boy. Know your place. Five out of five. Yeah, boy! All right, guys, we're on a hot streak right now. Returned Archer. Let's keep it going. And we didn't get the first pick. Of course, I went with Armands. Why wouldn't you? Um, if you could take Armands, I'm going to take... I'm not going to take Wuka. I'm going to take Leora's. Um, I always feel if I picked, if I did pick um, Wukong, they would definitely take Tormen. Okay, this is interesting. Um, I'm still going to, I'm still going to go with my Hedgy. He's so, so damn good for this. And yeah, I feel like Gizmark's going to, you know, such a hard carry. Only like a level two poly, we should be fine. All right, definitely going to take out Pytheon. No, no, Armands even, sorry. Um, yeah, Pytheon's so good as well, though. Oh, interesting. So they decided to let me have Arb, um, and I've only got one Nuka now. Uh, Gizmark, he's a pretty good Nuka. You can play him two ways, either like full support um, and just like just go ham with that, with that HP burn, or you bring in the damage and i've got him in a full damage build absolutely love it on him i guess one of the problems with gizmark though is that he's the wrong affinity against this team he's gonna struggle but hopefully you know we should definitely drop at least two people we're gonna let um ronda keep her stone skin coming with a big hit pow Oh, and that's the thing as well. I don't have any awakening on him. It's going to take me years to do that. And what we're going to do is actually we're going to let Ronda kill herself. We've got stone, kin, uh, stone skin across... Stone skin? Unkillable 
and the ally protection across the board. Ooh. Just hope if Wukong steals from me, that could be an issue. Come on, Hedgy. Push back that turn me up. Whack that slow on. Let's try and cut in with Arb. Throw a heal on. Yep. Here we go. So we're going to focus uh, Lady Makagi. Because basically what happens is he gets an AoE hit if it's um the last target. Going to boost that turn meter again. Yeah, so if they're below 50% HP, he will... um. What will he do? He'll do an AoE hit on his A1. So sick. Okay, Lady Makagi, what's she going to do? Probably her and Ronda are going to like double team someone. Who's it going to be? What's she going to strip? I guarantee she's going to go for the strip. Got, got sheep though. All right, here we go. Big A2. Um, yeah, that's Python down. Pretty much game over. See you later. Six out of six. Now on to number seven. Another OG. I'm a little bit scared. I feel like this person's going to be a whale with like all mythicals. Min Minnesota, show me what you got. Oh, so what did we learn from the last fight? He's definitely going to be bringing in probably, probably Rotos. Uh, I definitely would rather fight Sifi and Rotos any day over Narcissus and Ancora. Interesting. Very interesting. So if that's the case, um, he's going for a speed team. We're bringing in our hedge. And then it's got to be Rotos. Rotos or Harima. And it's Bojack Horseman. Very interesting. So I'm taking away the horse. I don't actually know what his kit is. I just know that he's very, very good. So don't really want to go against that. And you let me take our mans. All right, guys. So this is the this is the moment of truth. This is what you've been waiting for. No one has seen my our mans build right now. And of course, he's in full stone skin. Full stone skin our mans is so much better. I don't understand why people build him like triple speed. If you're going against someone like, you know, someone brings like a hedgy or whatever, some form of CC, you're going to get screwed over. But if you're smart like me and you've got that stone skin on him, they can't touch you unless they're bringing in like Warlord or something. It's not happening. So yeah, there's definitely, the struggle is going to be real. Oh, big slaps from Arma, uh, from, from Leores. Going to push back that turn meter. Everyone's down. Who am I going to sheep? Let's try our luck with Lady Miyagi. Miyaki. Miyaki. <laughs> and that's it. Big old slaps going from Gizmark. Get ready for it, boys. Oh. Was that like a 200k hit on Siffy? <laughs> Insane. And yeah. Minnesota's gone. Seven for seven. This is the best run I've ever had in live arena, for real. All right, we're against the Ukrainian Warriors. Alex, 969. Show me what you got. All right, so Arb and Duchess. Pretty, pretty easy, to be honest. Again, we're just going to roll with the hedge. And yeah, I, I still can't believe that people think Hedgy's trash now. Like, obviously, at the very, very top end of Live Arena, he does fall off. Um, probably, like, in the top... I used to be in the top 2,000. I didn't do Live Arena. I, well, actually, I haven't done Live Arena since Christmas. So I've stopped playing for, like, almost eight months. Now we need to bring in a cleanser. There's no way we can do this without a cleanser. The only problem is my... Um, my elbow's a little bit slow. So that might be a little bit of a problem. And easy pickings. We're taking away Arb. No brainer. Um, Harima might be a bit of a problem with that, um, with that polymorph. 
Oh, you let me you let me keep Wukong? That's very dangerous, my friend. I guess Armands. Armands is definitely more of a threat than Wukong. But we'll see. We'll see. Right. Major lag. All right, we're in. This is interesting. Very interesting. So what I'm hoping is that all oh, that's not good. That is not good. The oh this guy, he has not done this right. So basically, he should have had Romantu go before the Rat King, not the other way around. Definitely a big mistake on that. So Elva will come in and we definitely will get that cleanse now. I don't think one bomb is going to be enough to kill her. Oh, no, not, not my Leores. Oh, and Wukong down. This might be the first loss, guys. Ah. Oh. Or oh, those freaking bomb champions. Let's see. So Rat King's just going to hit random. Romantu is probably going to try and CC Elva. But not good enough. Liora is coming in with big smacks. Nice. We're going to try and CC. Oh. How unlucky. And, oh, is that a bug? I don't know how we managed to get our unkillable. Um, that shouldn't have happened, but it did. Leores coming in clutch with the big A2. Sorry, Alex. Better luck next time. So we're eight for eight. Can we get that 10 for 10? <laughs> Noblet, Suicidal Nerd Squad. Great name. Love the Suicide Squad. All right, coming with Armands, going for Arb and Leo. Ooh, nasty. Again, I have to go with the speed lead. I will probably actually take... Ooh, it's, it's so difficult. Oh, Marichka as well. There's n This is going to be hard. Really, really hard. One problem as well, Gizmark, Marichka counters uh, Gizmark hard. I just have to pray to the gods that... Armands is an in stone skin. Otherwise, it's going to be a big issue. This guy is obviously a massive whale. Narcissist, Taras, Marichka. Jog on. All right, Nubler. Let's see what you're made of. My hopes are low. He's going to smash my record. But we're on a hot streak. We are on a hot streak. No. No freaking way. What is the odds of the entire team being in stone skin? All right. So, oh, and I forgot about that as well. Like, Taris, he is so broken. Why does he get to freaking just throw out a true fear as well? Like, he does enough as it is. So, obviously, he's going to push everyone back. He's going to sheep my Liores, and it's going to annoy me. It really, really is. The only thing I can hope is that my. Um, maybe Masteries can help me. That, like, basically, if they do a big smack to Gizmark, it's gonna, yeah, but then he's gonna die to Taris. Ah, oh. Nubbler, I hate you. Can't believe, like, a full stone skin team. I guess it was bound to happen eventually. You ruined the hot streak, man. Please just do an A1 on Luris. Let's see. If he can actually drop your entire team. And nice. He went for the A1. Don't know if he's going to get that sheep. Taris, is he going to land decrease attack? Of course he is. And um, yeah, we've got nothing. All right. See you later. Ugh. Just roll my eyes. All right. Can we go nine for 10? Peace be with you. You little rascal. All right, again with the Armands, but not a very strong one. Oh, Seafy. So definitely going to have to bring in Hedgy. <laughs> Literally. And that's the thing as well. Like, I hate having to use Hedgy all the time, but I cannot win the speed race against these whales and krakens. So I don't have much choice. I've got to use him as much as possible. All right, guys. So I'm just going to come down to this filter here. I'm going to whack on speed. Just see if there's anyone else that we can bring in to mix it up a little bit. 
Should I use Astrolith? She's really fast and she can blow Shizzle up. I think people really underestimate her. I feel like doing it. Just Let's just troll it out. Yeah, we're doing it, boys. We're bringing in Astrolith. Why the fudge not? And we'll take out Sifi. Let's see what happens. Like, I might just end up losing this anyway. He doesn't have a cleanser. Um, obviously, Duchess can put out block debuffs. As long as we're faster, though, I feel like we've got a very good chance this one. The bomb meta back. The bomb better. The bomb meta is back, baby. All right, lots of stone skin. We're going to try and lock out the rabbit and the monkey. Didn't quite land it. We're going to blow up Duchess. Gizmark is going to come in. And what am I going to do with you? I think I'm going to, yeah, put on block. No, no. Sorry. We're going to put on unkillable. See what happens. Their team should just die pretty easy. Didn't. That's strange. Astrolith survived the sheep. So <laughs> that's Duchess gone. And now we need to try and take out probably see if we can take out our man's probably not no we do get that termia boost what's the rabbit gonna do do you know i don't have razzle varg so i have no idea what he does i know he's just like really fast and sort of just cycles around real quick so let's see if we can cut him with arb if not it's game over oh the freaking greatest hits man how is he not landing CC on on my Astrolith? I don't I don't understand. So let's swap HP with Armand. If I can just get if I could get him to die, this would be an easy fight. But it looks like the uh, the curse of Armand is going to be the reason we lose. Oh, why did I not ban him? Oh. All right. What's that? Eight out of ten. Let's look at not not bad at all. I've never seen so much blue in my life. Oh, just just tripped the last hurdle. I'm so gutted, guys. But anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe, and I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.